Hey honeys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sinead, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I achieved this top knot bun, so continue watching. So we're gonna jump straight into this top knot bun tutorial as you guys seen at the beginning of the video. My hair was already washed, blow dry, straightened. So this is gonna make it a lot simpler for me. All I'm doing right now is just combing my hair up into a ponytail. I'm gonna comb it to exactly where I want my ponytail to sit. And then I'm going to put my hair tie to secure the ponytail. So once that's done, I'm just tying my hair up just because I will be applying the gel. But before that, I'm just combing out any hairs I want to leave out for my sideburns and my edges and stuff like that. I make my own edges, guys, yes. <laughs> so I'm going in with my clear eco styling gel and I'm just gonna place that all around my hair. So front, side, and back. You wanna just make sure you spread it out nicely and comb it through. After applying all the gel, I am going to take out my hair tie. And just so that the ponytail is nice and sleek, you wanna make sure you just comb it all through. That way there's nothing bunched up around the hair tie. So that is the reason for taking it out. So as you see, I'm just combing it through and then I'm going to go ahead and put the hair tie back in to secure my ponytail. So after securing my ponytail, I did feel as though it could have been more sleek. So of course I went back in with the gel, I applied that all over and used my comb to comb it through. So when you're combing it through and you still feel like it's bunching up where the ponytail area is, you just want to go ahead and take that band out and comb it through like you've seen me do before and then put back the ponytail into place. So that's exactly what I was doing here, just to make it really nice. Now that I've secured my ponytail, I'm just going in with my wrap it up strips and I'm going to tie down the hair and let it dry while I do the bun. So I'm just going to braid my natural hair into one braid. And I will be using a black rubber band to just secure the end but this is just going to go into a bun and then I'll be adding the hair extensions
so I did use a black rubber band to just hold my hair in place but this is how it's looking so far I'm just showing you guys the hair that I'm using it was from Timu but before I put that in I just went in with my blow dryer and started drying around my head just so that I can remove the black wrap it up strips and it's not in my way while I'm doing the bun because it would have laid on top of it and it would have been easier for me to take it off if I just blow dried it so the process is quicker. So once I finish doing that, I'm just curling my hairs that I left out and then I'll be using my ebon edge control to slick these hairs down. I'll be doing some little swoops as always. If you guys are not new here, you know. All right, so I'm using one pack of this crochet here. This is their 20 inch ocean wave texture. Guys, I did a Timu haul a while back in one of my grooms. So this is the hair I'm actually finally using. Like, <laughs> this was great, it came in handy. So what I'm doing is I'm just attaching the hair onto my bun. So I'm using the rubber band that it came with. And as you can see, I'm just making a loop and I'm gonna put this onto my hair, like through the bun. As you can see, I'm just trying to connect it. Then I'm just going to be twisting around the hair and covering my braided bun that's already there. So I did go ahead and spread the curls just a little bit so it has more of like a messy type of texture and it makes it more fuller. But this is like trial and error, so this is the first time I did it. Didn't really like it, so now we're going again. So with these buns, you could definitely play around with it. Like, you won't always get it on the first try. But I did decide I wanted to leave like one or two curly pieces out. So that's what I did first, as you can see. And then I'm going to just pull back in some hair, just because I thought it was like too much going on. So it's definitely like a messy type of bun. You just want to play around with it. So as you can see, I wanted it shorter. So I just wrapped it around again, took out one of the shorter pieces and then wrapped some of the hair because I thought it was thick. If you guys get it, you know what I mean? So if the piece is too long, you just continue wrapping it until it's short enough for it to hang the way you want it. And that was it guys like it was that it was honestly that simple I also received some little chopsticks from Amazon well I bought them <laughs> and I just used the two closest brown colors and just stuck those in the bun and it was a little cute a little cute hairstyle super quick super easy I loved it I went in of course with my shine spray for that finishing touch and this is how it was looking. I was also recording a video for TikTok, but look at this look guys. And it's super quick, super simple, super easy guys. The hair was so cheap off Timu. So you can also get this crochet type of hair in the beauty supply store if you are interested as well. If it's like a super last minute hairstyle you want to do. So I hope you enjoyed this little quick and easy hair tutorial. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Like this video, comment down below. Let me know if this is a hairstyle you would try. Also let me know any other hairstyles you guys would like to see me achieve. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.